Good morning, sir. As you know, I am back. I had done my walkthrough and something weren't done. The dining room for us is sticky. The bathrooms weren't done. No stocking and sodas and try to. Can you please check back around to see if they are doing it? I would appreciate it. Who didn't show up last night? And the schedule wasn't crazy. You had people for every position. If people call out of your shift, it is your responsibility to make sure that it's covered. <laughs> God, that was weird. My car was confusing me telling some key fob not found. I got the keys in my freaking hand. Like, what? Come on now, make it make sense. But what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, and you win. Though, if you win, win. you win, though. But if you win it, when it's finished, in the end, you win, though, man. You already know. Let's go look. Back at it, like, I have another video for you guys, like one o'clock in the morning, doing a video. First and foremost, um, I gotta correct something from my last video. Um, it was lack of communication that created the problem of me thinking that one of my closers just wasn't showing up purposely. Like he didn't show up, don't get me wrong. But no one told me that he had a leg situation and he was gonna be out for a couple of days. He said he tried calling, whatever. And he eventually spoke to somebody. I didn't get the memo, I didn't get the message. No one told me anything. So I didn't know that. So I cleared that up. Like I didn't, I wasn't sitting there saying or trying to assume anything per se. I was just going off of the information given to me and what I seen. And he didn't, I just seen he didn't show up for a shift. So I said he didn't show up for a shift. So, um, yeah, it's the craziness, man, for real. But now you get, and pretty sure people probably seen the beginning of this video. Uh, whoever did see it, and you got can't win for losing. I'm already having crazy shifts, and I got two messages. One from a manager who came back to our store, complained about stuff not being done, whatever the case is. I said, my shift was short staff. Or like I, I told him, like, my shift was short staff, and I had somebody call out or whatever. And I told him that. I said, but I, I try to keep paying attention. I try to pay attention to that. But they're going to complain regardless. So, But I said something or whatever, like, yeah, my shift wasn't really, like, it was kind of set up. I was set up for the most part. And I guess he said something to another manager who messaged me and was like the um so his message would just say is how stuff was some stuff just needed to be that wasn't done the night before her messages was saying her one message was like basically saying um i wasn't short staff or whatever like i had somebody for each position and who called out because if, if someone called out i should have um called somebody in man i didn't even i I didn't know he wasn't coming in until I didn't see him. And everybody else was pretty much working. The only other person who I could have called wasn't going to be able to work. So, like, and then I'm coming into a chaos shift. And I'm just trying to make sure everything is balanced and situated. I'm not about to sit there and be like, okay, let me take the time. I can't stop and call because even the other day, I'm working with a new person, someone who's, um, I think, like, special needs or whatever, and the young lady who was holding down or whatever the case is, but it wasn't that kind of party where I could rely on all three of them to hold it down while I go in the office, make calls and stuff like that. And I still got to do my manager stuff. I'm trying to maintain, make sure everything's good because I'm still short a, pers a kitchen person and the break's got to be done. Then one of my kitchen people left at 10. So they left one kitchen person and then I had my cleaning person, but he left at 11. And I didn't even know he left at 11. And so I see him getting ready to clock out and it's like, oh, hey, um, yeah, I'm leaving at 11. And I'm like, what the heck? And I try to see if he can stay longer. He was just like, couldn't because they, they scheduled to 11 so they should have did that which is why like the people you schedule people to certain times they're not going to stay long or come in or like they ain't going to do nothing so people going to be looking at like this is the time you gave me so i get that aspect. that's crazy though like what the heck it's always some bs man sending me messages and stuff i'm like i'm tired of them just oh, i'm gonna send a message to him and correct his mistake like your shit is is freaking roses come on man i don't like stuff like that and they should be just as crazy today the freaking like i made sure all the the safe was good i made sure all the tools were good last night everything's supposed to be good to go i don't know what happened from the morning to the time i came in but the safe went back down um short again and i'm like what the hell what is going on like the safe it's not where it needs to be like, so what am i supposed to do right now because 
the drawers were short and then the safe was short too. Like what what? Like come on man, you can't you can't make this up. It's two drawers that's short and the safe is short like a hundred and something dollars. Like I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're gonna fix it. I don't know if I'm gonna get a text message while I'm sleeping in the morning, but if I get a text message then it'd be another video. It'd be another video. I'm tired of this shit, bro. I'm tired of it. It's 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 not okay. I I'm really looking for something else and they're going to stop stressing me the fuck out because the hell I'm not coming in there for my health. Like, I literally fixed everything for them to fuck it up again. The hell? And what's fucked up is they they mess up and then how the blame going to be put on me? Like, watch. Watch the blame get put on me. Watch. Like, I should have did something to fix. Oh, my fucking God, bro. I swear. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to lose my mind. Like, nigga. I swear, bro. I'm trying to be professional. I don't want to sit there and be like, fuck y'all, peace. I don't want to do that. I'll, I've done that before. The only job I ever fo officially kind of like, not quit per se, but I kind of like quit it. It was Chick-fil-A because they were stressing me out on a different direction. But I feel like I was in people way, not at that store. The, one, the store that I was at, I should have been to a different store. It would have been way easier, but no. Like, they going to stop. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be chill about it. I really am. And I'm not about to sit here and keep recording videos at 1 o'clock in the freaking morning because I keep getting on my nerves. But I will if I have to. I will if I have to. Like, we out here. We out here doing it and doing it well. We doing it big. Come on, man. They're going to stop playing with me. They're going to stop playing with me. It's always something, bro. And Burger King got me, like, it got me, like, so close. Like, they just, they just don't know. But that's why I'm trying to hurry up and see what places is hiring and, and hand them my two week notice in. Like I'm I'm really I'm really about to do that, man. Like I know how jobs can be stressful and stuff like that. But it depends on the position. Like even Audi has his moments, but me not being a manager there, it just depend on who I was working with when I was in management and then they had, and I was spread thin because they took my hours away. So um, then we we got a new store manager and I had my hours back, but I'm working two other jobs and it just had me kind of like, like a lot going on. I didn't expect it to be like that. I'm just like, okay, you're not giving me hours. I'd be okay. But then after, like, it just, it just got annoying. I was like, oh, it was just like one hand, this happens, next hand, this happens. I'm like, okay. So and then I'm working two jobs. I don't mind just being an associate there at Audi. I can sit there and get my stuff situated, whatever the case is. I've had to work more hours at Audi and less hours at Burger King. Um, so that way I don't have to deal with the craziness. But it is what it is. I've had to work one or two days at Burger King, for real, for real. I won't get used to the abuse. Can't get used to the abuse, man. This is just crazy, man. I got, it's always something to talk about. And I'm sure when my store manager shows up on Wednesday, it'll be even more BS stuff to talk about that she's going to sit there and blame me for or make a big deal out of stuff. And I'm like, they're going to be satisfied until I start snapping on people. Like, you better watch out. Watch yourselves, man. Nobody playing. So, yeah. But let me know what you guys think, man. Do you work a 9 to 5? Is it getting on your nerves? Is it getting on your fucking nerves? Do you want to walk out? Like, <laughs> let me know down in the comment section below. Like, what the hell, bro? Like, let me know because it'd be like that. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys, man. Peace out. All right. Hey, yes. We still got a lot. What'd you say, Z Dog? Broken rap for real, though. Eli's a great Eli. rapper. He's been on Tangerine Stop Talent more than once. He was just on it this Tuesday and closed out the show. He's fantastic. Subscribe to him, Eli underscore innuendo. I did it. Y'all can shout do it out too. Tangerine. Man, take a fucking hike. Innuendo. Man, just okay, take wait. a fucking fucking hike. Let's hike, go. hike, hey, hike. Yo. Tell these people take a hike, but I'm not talking about hiking. Hiking, you can get lost when you're hiking. No map, follow the stars, cause you're riding. Low key, I'm a god like doors, but I'm the highest of the hikings. When my girl see me, she always gonna be greeting me instead of calling me bear. She like hiking.